Chinese artist Li Hongbo's sculptures look no different from the classic white Roman style plaster busts that many sculptors create. But the real magic begins only when you get close and touch them. What appear to be plaster, reveals itself to be multiple layers of very thin paper. Li's technique is stunning. He sketches his ideas before pasting glue in narrow strips across pieces of paper, and stacking them up to the desired height. He uses up to 8,000 layers for a single head. He then cuts, chisels and sands the block of paper using a bandsaw and angle grinder, just as though he were working with stone. So you could literally touch and play with the busts that Lee creates. You could stretch the faces and distort features to reveal an accordion of paper layers and then snap everything back together with ease. When people look at a box, they think it's a box. But actually, it can change into another thing, the 38-year-old artist says. Born in a simple farming family, he confesses he has always loved paper. At the beginning, I discovered the flexible nature of paper through Chinese paper toys and paper lanterns. Later, I used this principle to make a gun. A gun is solid, used for killing, but I turned it into a tool for play or decoration. In this way, it lost both the form of a gun and the culture inherent to a gun. It became a game. Some of Lee's work is being showcased at the Klein Sun Gallery in New York, in an exhibition called Tools of Study. Visitors at the gallery are enchanted by his paper sculptures. Unfortunately, they aren't permitted to touch anything. A white-gloved member of the gallery staff twists and pulls at the busts, while an audience watches intently. Lydia Krisman, a gallery visitor, said, It becomes a dynamic thing versus a very static thing. But as an observer, I can only enjoy that movement of the object if someone opens it for me. You kind of want to play with it, but you can't. Lee wishes his audience could touch the sculptures too. I really want to let them move the pieces but the gallery won't let people touch them," he said. If the public were really careful, I would hope they could participate, because only by feeling with their hands could they experience the real pleasure of the material and the form.